next supplication, which will be discussed is found in chapter 3, verse 8. Our Lord, let not our hearts deviate after you have guided us, and grant us from yourself mercy. This supplication is a warning, that being provided with the means to obtain guidance, namely, the Holy Quran, and the traditions of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, is not enough to remain on the correct path. One must act on this knowledge sincerely, for the sake of Allah, the exalted, to achieve this. Just like possessing a map, to a specific destination in this world, is not beneficial, until one uses it, and physically journeys, towards their desired destination. Similarly, possessing the map to paradise, in the form of the Holy Quran, and the traditions of the Holy Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, will not take one to their desired destination, namely paradise, until they practically, act on them. This an aspect of deviation, mentioned in this supplication. It also refers to those, who purposely misinterpret the divine teachings, in order to fulfill their own worldly desires. This occurs when one prioritizes, gaining the material world, over reaching the hereafter safely. In fact, the one who behaves in such a manner, such as seeking fame, through religion, will go to hell, according to a narration, found in, Jami, R. Tirmizi, number 2654. This deviation can occur, when one cherry picks the duties to fulfill, which please their desires, and reject the ones, which contradict their desires. This person is not following the teachings of Islam, in reality, they are only following their own desires. Finally, this deviation can occur, when one only obeys Allah, the exalted, by fulfilling his commands, refraining from his prohibitions, and being patient with destiny, when they desire worldly things. But when their wishes are obtained, they turn away from his obedience. A Muslim must avoid all forms of deviation, by sincerely obeying Allah, the Exalted, according to the traditions, of the Holy Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, without cherry-picking, or misinterpreting these divine teachings. This is only possible, through the mercy of Allah, the Exalted, which has been indicated, at the end of this supplication.